Hello my loves, I hope you're all really well. Oh my goodness, I missed you guys. I feel like we have not caught up in a really long time, even though it hasn't been that long. Um, I just feel like the past week has been the longest week of my life. Guys, we've been ill again. <laughs> what is going on? I can't remember the last time I felt normal. Um, so last time I spoke to you guys, we were kind of like all getting over our illnesses and I was like, yes, normality is restored. And then all of a sudden, we our coughs came back, the colds came back, the runny noses came back, the headaches came back, the aching bodies came back and we were all just completely wiped out. Um, so I'm so sorry that I missed Sunday's upload. I hate, I hate, 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 hate not catching up with you all on a Sunday. Like I just, it's the worst feeling, um, but I'm back. I'm not long, I'm not sure how long for, um, I'm not sure how long I have until my next nursery illness. Anyway, how are you all? I hope you're all really well. It is currently Thursday afternoon. I have had a morning of just getting stuff done. A really productive morning, which I've been craving for the past week. Whenever I'm poorly, I find it really hard to do nothing. I find it really hard to just rest, which is definitely what my body needs, but I just feel like there's always so much to do and like the washing is piling up and the house is a tip. So it felt really good this morning just to get up, get some washing on, give the house a good tidy, sort a couple of things out um, and actually like not look like a jacket potato today. It, it feels nice. Yeah, plans for the rest of the day are I'm actually going to be packing because tomorrow we're going on our annual festive trip to Centre Box and I cannot wait. I actually watched last year's vlog when we went to Centre Parks and oh my goodness it made me cry because Noah was so tiny and it just reminds me how how quick time goes with a child like honestly it's craziness how much he's changed um and i'm just i can't wait to see what he thinks of everything this year and yeah i'm really really excited to go so today we've been sorting the house out there's nothing worse than going away for a couple of days and then coming back and the house not being in order like i feel like i can't relax um so the house is sorted and then this afternoon is going to be about packing and then we are all ready to leave for our centre park trip tomorrow. This is gonna be a very Christmassy festive vlog. Um, ready for the start of December. I can't believe it's nearly December. And yeah, get cozy. Really hope you enjoy coming to centre parks with us. And let's go and start packing. I'm about to say something I never quite imagined coming out of my mouth. Guys, this part of today's video is imposter syndrome moment, very kindly sponsored by Skims. It's sponsored by Skims and I am so so honoured, first of all, but I'm so excited to share these pieces with you. I am actually a little bit taken aback by how obsessed I am with Skims. <laughs> I now have a new obsession. I've actually tried all of these pieces on. I've got some try-on clips for you guys, but I'm just gonna share with you my new bits from Skims. I hope you love them. Okay, first things first, you may have noticed that I look like a cozy bear today this set i am gonna live in for as long as i can just oh, the softest thing i've ever put on my body i have got on the oversized hoodie and joggers this is part of the cozy collection and oh my goodness it's so slouchy so soft the hoodie is like lovely and oversized got lovely long sleeves just look at this fuzzy material then with the joggers these are so high-waisted they've got zipped up huge pockets they're cuffed 
I just love this set so much. These actually have quite a few different pieces in this cozy fabric. They've got a dressing gown, which I need immediately. I need that in my life. That is going straight on my Christmas wish list. And you can match with all the family because you're not ready for this. I have matching kids onesies. Me and Noah are going to be cozy matching mama and son and jamie also has his very own big cozy hoodie and joggers so, so in the cozy material i have this zip up top guys the quality of everything is just so gorgeous i have never actually tried skims before and i always had high expectations but when i opened this parcel and felt all of these pieces and now i've tried them on and especially the essentials like the bodysuits I, I i they're just amazing it's such gorgeous quality the material is like like nothing i've ever felt before so this is a little zip up i feel like this is going to be a great layering piece for the colder months so nice to wear under a big puffer coat this also goes really nicely with the joggers okay next items i have to show you guys are i'm gonna say my favorite my favorite pieces out of this haul which are the body suits essential range for me are such a wardrobe essential they are great for a base layer they're great for layering um and i feel like there's something as well that help you feel really confident much as these items are very much seen as a basic item such a wardrobe essential and i truly believe you get what you pay for honestly the quality of these is completely unmatched like the material you guys need to just feel this material it is beautiful it's buttery soft when you put one of these bodysuits on you feel like it's made for your body no matter what body type you feel like it's made for your body it's so stretchy it's so soft so sculpting so smoothing and it feels like second skin it feels like you have nothing on at all but you have all the support and it just makes when i put these on it makes me feel confident and you guys know me i live in oversized clothes i am not the most body confident person but these make me feel really good. They make me feel really, really nice. You want to have some bodysuits in your wardrobe that are going to last you years and years and years. And it's something that makes you feel good. So worth the price. The first bodysuit I have to show you is in this beautiful nude colour. As you can see, the hips like come up quite high. So they're in like a really comfortable place. It has the super sculpting effect. So stretchy. Like guys, look at this. Like, look how much these stretch, but they don't lose their shape. They mould back into the same shape just as they mould your body. Like, I just really am so chuffed with these. These are going to live in my wardrobe for years and years to come, and they're just such an amazing base layer. I can now stop buying multiple bodysuits hoping that they're gonna last because they never do okay this bodysuit is my favorite this is my favorite item out of the entire haul because this is something i have been looking for my entire life it may look like a basic crew neck long sleeved black bodysuit but it's not it's skims baby and it is just oh, guys I, I just can't explain this material when I pop this on, I feel so just lovely. It makes me feel confident. Um, it sculpts my body. I just, I really, really love these bodysuits so much. I love like the hem on this as well. It's like a, it's like a raw hem. But I feel like many people look at skims and think they're basic items, but they're not. They're luxury basics that you need in your wardrobe love this so much and i just think this is going to look great with everything such a great jeans and a nice top um it's also going to be like i said an amazing layering piece really nice with a blazer over the top okay next i have some pieces to share with you guys from the fits everybody collection this collection has lots of different things t-shirts underwear dresses body suits, huge selection of essentials and they come in 10 different colors and sizes extra extra small to 4xl so they really do have absolutely everything for everybody i picked up this vest top bodysuit and this is in the shade espresso 
it's a really gorgeous like earthy kind of brown buttery soft it's absolutely gorgeous again it has the same stretch as the essential bodysuits it can stretch up to twice its size and again fits you like an absolute glove feels like it is made for your body the last bodysuit i picked up i need all the bodysuits in my life i just know i'm gonna get so much wear out of these is a crew neck long sleeved bodysuit i love a crew neck another thing i love about this bodysuit as well is the sleeve length really nice sleeve length and all of the bodysuits come with poppers and like i said they just sit in a really comfortable place okay last two pieces to show you guys again from the fits everyone collection and i have some underwear sets i picked up a black set so i got the briefs which are just so comfortable skims actually have a deal on as well which is called the panty bundle and you can get three pairs of bottoms for 36 dollars, which is really amazing but these are gorgeous they're like shapewear you just feel held in like you feel so supported and they're just so comfortable so soft feel like you're wearing nothing at all again and then i picked up the black bralettes I can't remember the last time I wore a proper bra with like underwire in. I'm just not about that life. I'm about comfort is key. This is so comfortable, yet supportive, a great everyday bra. And the last set I picked up is this triangle bra. This is in the shade Sienna. Again, such a lovely neutral colour, so soft. We've got adjustable straps and we've got the proper back of a bra which i do really like because obviously it's adjustable and another pair of briefs guys i just need to show you how much these stretch again are you ready right like what is this material is this a magical a magical mystery material like look how much they stretch it's actually unreal my loves that is everything i picked up from skims honestly i'm so grateful to be working with them in this video and i hope you loved everything that i picked up like i said some real luxury timeless pieces that i'm gonna have for years and they fit beautifully and they just make me feel really amazing so yeah really happy with my new bits i will leave a link down below for skims for you guys to have a look like i said they've got so many different things and like i said skims have brought out their holiday collection so great gift idea like such an amazing gift i think this loungewear set or anything from the cozy range makes an amazing gift so yeah i will leave a direct link down below and thank you so much skims for sponsoring this part of today's video <laughs> Santa Fox. I can see some wow. glistening trees. Wow. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah. How exciting! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Wow. Let's go. We've arrived. Christmas has begun. We've arrived. I'm illuminated by many brake lights. Hence why I'm a bit red. <laughs> David just looks like a floating head. <laughs> Hi guys, we're here. Hi guys, we're here. We are here. Oh, it's so like, it's such a surreal feeling coming into the entrance for all the trees. I just love it. It does feel magical. Doesn't it? Yeah. I feel like Center Parks is like a different world. I don't know, I just love it. <laughs> love it so much. Yeah, because you are, once you're in, you're in, aren't you? That's yeah, it. I think that's what I really like about it. Like. It feels secluded, it feels just, oh, I'm really excited. Noah is just watching his little baby bum in the back. Okay, we're just about to check in, and then we're gonna head to our lodge. Very exciting. It's about, what time is it? Quarter to five, we're a little bit later today. Um, but you can check in from four. So we've been listening to this song on the way here, and you know when you can kind of like, remember a bit of a song, but you can't remember the, any of the words, you can only remember a little bit of it. And I was like, I'll see if you guys can guess it when I do my little bit that I did to Jamie. And you know exactly what I was talking about, didn't you? Yeah, I know, I know what artist, I can tell you which artist it is now. So it goes, come on. I feel like you were a bit quick on that. Come on. 
follow the mm. I thought the beginning said come on. It doesn't. It says what does it say? Follow the sun. Follow follow the, the sun. sun. Xavier Rudd. We've literally listened to it about four times in Jamie's playlist, which consists of like three songs of all the same. I've got, I was looking through Jamie's playlist. Um, so many. Hippie chill. He's got a hippie yeah, chill playlist. I've got a lot of chills. I've a got, like, summer chill chills, playlist. Summer chill. A I've summer got vibe chill, playlist. Chill. I've got chill piece marks. You've got a chill with a little piece pineapple marks. next to it as well. Yeah. He's got a vibes playlist. He's got. Got them all. He's literally, honestly, got about 100 different I need playlists. I to consolidate my chills. Wicked Games covers. I've got a playlist. <laughs> <laughs> Wicked Games covers. He's got an entire playlist with about 10 different Wicked Games covers. Why is that? What is it about Wicked Games? I don't know. I really like it. Anyway, my loves, we are going to check in. There's a very long queue, so it might take a while. And we will see you at the cabin. I'm dreading the cabin. Why? Because if we're going to film in there, there's going to be proper lighting. <laughs> Something's happened to Jamie's face. <laughs> Something's happened! What oh yeah, I something? forgot, I forgot, it's quite dark Something's in here. Happened. We'll explain when we get there because it's quite possibly... Or, no, it's not, so funny. It's just the worst timing ever. Something has happened to Jamie's face. You can't see it now, but you will be able to. arrived at our little home for the next few nights. Oh, you ready to see Noah? We're up some steps this time which I'm excited about. Looks so cozy. I'm not sure how much you guys can see it's quite dark but oh I love it. Oh this is the wrong one. It's six four. <laughs> We're going into someone else's lodge at the moment. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, no. <laughs> <gasps> you go first. <laughs> oh, careful. <gasps> Where are we, darling? Do you remember this, Noah? Exactly the same as the other one. Wow. He was so tiny last time. Where are we? Oh, oh dear, there goes Raisin. <sighs> Ready? <laughs> the grabber. We should arrive. Do you want just want to say, welcome to my yeah. first vlog. You just told me not to put the light on. You can't just wear the hat the entire time we're here. Explain to everyone. Say Explain say what's happened. Well, come on. <laughs> I know you're dying to... <laughs> Can you all... guys notice anything? I've done a couple of rounds with Mike Tyson. You know how it is. <laughs> Tell everyone what happened. <laughs> Tell everyone. I thought, do you know what? We're going to the park, so I'm going to get myself a fresh trim, got myself a couple of new outfits. I thought, make myself feel good. And I thought, oh, I have a little eyebrow wax, didn't I? <laughs> He's got <laughs> wax burns. He came home yesterday and was so like, bad. my eyebrows are so sore, and I was like, oh no. And now they look like cuts. It looks like he's had like eyelid surgery. <laughs> Yeah, well that's the benefit of it. But these people won't say anything because I think it's some kind of surgery. <laughs> you having a look around, baby? <gasps> Where are we? Ooh. <laughs> wow, me. Let me give you guys the grand tour. I've got a little dining room here. You guys may remember this from last year. Little sofa, little fire, which I bet Jamie is dying yeah, to light. <laughs> little kitchen. Oh, I'm excited to see out here in the morning. Then we've got, if I remember rightly, bedroom. Lovely. Oh, yeah, we all slept in here last time, didn't we? Oh, we need to make sure there's a cot. Um, little bathroom. 
loud bathroom. <laughs> Welcome to Centre Parks. We yeah, have. There's Noah. Oh, uh, graffiti. I do remember the Noah graffiti. Oh, and another little bathroom here. He do it himself, you. Lovely. Found the court. <laughs> Yeah. I just said to Jamie, I found the cot, but it needs building. And he said, that's exactly what I came on holiday for. To build things. <laughs> Guys, I think Noah thinks he's going to nursery. We, we bought his little nursery bag with us um, to pop some of his things in. And he keeps like taking it to the door. You're not going to nursery. So I'm just in the middle of unpacking. Noah's having some toast. Jamie's gone to take the car to the car park. And... Guys, who remembers this from last year? Every night at 6 till 7.30, there is this super cute, sorry, I feel like I need actual eyes in the back of my head right now, because Noah is just currently moving his cot. Yeah. Why are you trying to move it? A minute ago, he had climbed onto the table. I just need constant eyes in the back, sides, top, and in my chin. I'm unsure what you're trying to do. You can't move it, you're not that strong. What, you want to go in the cot? He's nodding. You want to go in the cot? Okay, I can put you in. <gasps> Never seen you so excited to go in a cot before, Noah. Oh, wow! He's in his cot. Oh, he's laid down. Is it comfy? Do you think you're gonna have a nice night's sleep in there? <laughs> you funny boy. I'm time lucky saying what I was trying to say. Basically, every night, six to half seven, there's this super cute children's program on the Centre Parks TV called Nutmeg, and I remember it from last year. And I think you're gonna love it this year. Hey, what are you looking at? The wine? Not sure you can have that, darling. Just nodded. What do you want? Do you want to drink? What would you like to drink? They're your bottles, I'm just about to do them. Oh, you can see Daddy's naughty can. Oh, guys, nutmeg is starting. Oh, it's just the cutest thing ever. What, you want this? <laughs> Why must you have everything that I have? Can't I have anything to myself? You just gotta have everything, huh? <laughs> Guys, Noah is just dancing away <laughs> to this Christmas tree. He absolutely loves it. You dancing? Oh, you're having a little jig! Yay! Do you love it? I'm so jealous of Noah right now. Wouldn't you just love to be in this pram? I wish he'd put his hat on though. I know, he refu he hates a hat. He keeps ripping it off. Oh, it's playing elf! So, we've just come out for a little walk before Noah's bedtime. And he is so excited by all the lights and trees. I'm really excited to get to the winter wonderland and see what he thinks because I think he's gonna absolutely love it. Like, he loves all the lights, all the music. He's like dancing to, he's pointing at all the lights. He's just, makes me so happy. You're waving at all the ducks. Guys, look at all the ducks sleeping. That is so cute. Are you waving at the ducks? Hi. Oh, look at them all. They kind of just like looked like floating blobs, but when I realised they were ducks, it's so cute. Is that a Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, there's all these little rail bits, and he's kind of sat on it. He is propped in between the two. Maybe it's a little duck seat. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Someone's pointing. Guys, are you ready to see if Noah remembers his elf noise? Mm. And it truly is an elf noise. Who's that? Wow. Do you remember him? Yes. 
Do you remember? Do you remember the noise? Aww. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> Maybe oh, it wasn't that close after all. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wants to eat him. What can you see in there that you want to eat? That acorn? You can't eat the elves. What's he pointing at that he wants to eat? <laughs> <sighs> wow. The candy cane. Well, there's my candy canes in there, boy. Right, your name is Plum. Elf name generator, so cute. Your name is Plum. No, no, that's the second one, I think. Oh. Cool. Your name is Tinsel Plum. Okay. Oh, the other arrow is there. Tinsel Plum. What's Plum's elf name? Tinsel Plum. Yeah. Yeah. Mama's elf name is... Oh yay, pudding. I was hoping to get that one. <laughs> oh, cinnamon pudding. A cinnamon pudding. Could it be any more fitting? What's mine then? Is there a Brussels sprout? Yeah, I hope your surname is Sprout. Yours is Burnt Eyelids. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> my, my name oh, is... Oh, there's one that says toes. <laughs> Joe Swirl. Swirl. Mine is... Oh, great. Sparkle, sparkle swirl, it suits you. Well, <laughs> sparkle swirl. <laughs> this winter Whoa. wonderland is just truly the most magical place. I love it <gasps> so much. A Christmas tree. <gasps> it's just amazing. I think we're it more. Huh? I think we're enjoying it more. I think we're enjoying it more. <gasps> oh, what are the Christmas there? music. Oh, I can't wait to see the singing <laughs> reindeers are just over there. <gasps> Whoa. Wow! It makes me feel just so festive being here. I love it. Love, love, love it. I love that it's in the woods. I love that it's oh, Christmas. Just Christmas. Center Box at Christmas is the best. Oh my god, do you remember the Enchanted Night Garden? Oh, he will love that. Do you guys remember that from last year? I can hear the reindeers. Oh my god, look! <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> Got eyes like yours. On. Someone wants the trumpet. <laughs> no, he wants the, the, the bell thing. Oh, the big bauble. <laughs> Yes, please. What do you call a magical owl? <laughs> it's an owl, Ooh, it's not a fairy. Beanie. Ah, I'm such a hoot, aren't I? <laughs> Oh my god, guys, we thought this was a Furby. <laughs> he looks so much like a Furby. I love to fly high in the sky and look down at the snow and sparkling lights below. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Is that lovely? Oh, yum. Boy, it's past your bedtime and you're having cream. Wow. Yum, yum. Jamie's gone for a double. What is it? Double choc mellow with cream. Ooh, yum the yum. Most creamy lift. from the Forest Festive Fair. And now we're gonna go for a little walk down the Enchanted Forest. And in that really annoying thing where you say you don't want anything, but you know full well you're just gonna drink all of it. I can't. Oh, wow! 
guys, fun fact of the day. Did you know that squirrels can peel apple peel with their teeth in about two seconds? Oh, I love it. So cute. Look at his little white belly. Oh. Morning. It is now the next day. This morning has been like a a military operation to get out. It's been more like a out. tycoon. So we're going uphill. She might be a bit panty. She might be a bit out of breath. Look through those trees though. It looks wow. amazing. Like all the trees Look. are orange. It just I feel like we're in America. We love trees. I think we're lacking trees where we are. We actually so we are. appreciate them. So it's all wrapped up. Hello, I love your outfit today. Can you have a smile for the camera please, sir? He's a little bit tired, a little bit moody. When we saw you guys was when we went out for our walk last night. We came back to the cabin, we got nowhere to sleep. We ordered some food, we had Chinese. And... It was expensive. <laughs> it was, it was... Oh, I was so excited for Chinese because we've got the best Chinese restaurant near us and I just compare everything to that. It just, it, everything tastes like fish, didn't it? <laughs> Do any of you we think that? like all of the food was cooked in like something that fish, oil. fish yeah, like basically fish oil. So <laughs> fishy. I opened the chicken and I was like, is that chicken or is that cod? Like it was so fishy. So I don't think we'll be ordering that again. Um, but yeah, we're just going for a lovely walk. Oh my god, I'm starting of breath from walking up that hill. Am I actually all right? So unfit. Look how gorgeous the weather is this morning. It's so sunny, so chilly. Oh my god, literally my favourite weather at my favourite place. I don't know why I find this so hilarious. Show them, Jamie. Hello? <laughs> it's plastic. Why? It's chained to the thing. I don't think anyone's going to... Oh my god, it's chained. I saw the chain. I was like, hang on a minute. Why? Why? Are they... <laughs> why? Do you know what's funny? Like, we're literally in a wood. Why do we need a... Plastic rock, well, unanswered. That's how fake this place is. Unsolved I'm mysteries. <laughs> unsolved mysteries. Why is there a plastic rock in Centre Park? We will never know. It's a conspiracy. Actually, there, is. There is actually a conspiracy theory. They say that there's cameras in rocks. Wow, maybe, that, yeah, maybe that's a camera rock. <gasps> Evening everyone from Mr. Curly Locks. Guys, look how curly the back of his hair is. It's, he's got like one long curly patch of hair at the back, whereas the front is super straight. We are oh, hello. You've seen you've seen your beloved. Your beloved, yes. I'll do it, Mama. It's that time of evening, we're just watching Nutmeg. Ah, oh, Noah just threw a bottle of milk at my foot. And this is Noah's cool new Santa toy, which we picked up earlier, which we're gonna put our milk on, <laughs> because why not? Today has been a little bit here, there, and everywhere. It is now 10 to seven at night. Last time you saw us was about 11 o'clock this morning. So when you last saw us, what were we doing? We were having breakfast, and then we went for a little walk. Then we headed back to the cabin to get Noah ready for his kind of like mid afternoon nap. And then we went for another walk. We went for some food. We went to Las, is it called Las Iguanas? Yeah. Las Iguanas is like a Mexican restaurant, which was lovely, but it was chaotic to the point. It, it was just, it was one of those that was just so chaotic where Noah didn't want to eat. Um, he, he didn't want to, sit in the chair there was a lot of beans everywhere there was a lot of beans a lot of just it, it was just so chaotic to oh. the point where i don't remember okay. what i ate 
and what it tasted like because I just inhaled it to get out of there quick. And we decided to head back and as we were coming out of the restaurant, Santa was driving by and it was like a carnival. It was so different to last year. There was like dancing presents. It was so cute. He was on like a huge sleigh. There was like big music. It was amazing. Um, and I desperately wanted to show you guys but because we were so unprepared for it, we'd just come out of the little restaurant area bit and picture this i had an ice cream in one hand jamie's ice cream i had my tango ice blast in the other hand jamie had got noah out of his pram to go on his shoulder so i was also holding the pram i had no hands left um but it was so cute it was noah so good you could see him, didn't we? it was just amazing yeah. um and then we headed back noah's had a bath we've just got him ready for bed we're watching yeah. nutmeg he's in his little cozy and, oh my god he's got this super cute cozy fleece on little fleece onesie and I want it for me. It's from H&M and it's just so cute. You're so cute. Is it your bedtime in a minute, darling? You coming yeah. up? Oh. Come on then. I was just enjoyed a little snack of this is my... <laughs> apples, grapes, toast oh. and biscuits. Oh no. Oh no. Sorry guys, Noah cut you off once ah. again. Good morning, my loves. Someone is still waiting to go to nursery every morning he goes to the door with his bag and sits here like hey guys am i going to see my friends today also look at you today look at your super cute little knitted reindeer set is that your bag do you want me to take it yeah yeah give us it here then oh let's do it up doing a little dance <laughs> oh you look cute sat there what have you found behind the curtain? Boo, where's Noah gone? Oh, there he is. Where's Noah gone? Oh, I wonder where he's gone. Oh, there he is. Good morning. I'm just in the middle of taking out my uh, overnight curls, which have been an absolute godsend this trip because I have had no time to curl my hair in the mornings. Whereas, look how good they look. Literally just sleep in this and take it out in the morning and I've got freshly curled hair. What's the matter, baby? You trying to go up my top? There you go. Just got a baby up my top. <laughs> this is the reason I have no time to curl my hair in the mornings. You coming up? So today, our plans are, we are going to see Santa, aren't we? Yes, we're going to see Santa. And then we're going to the pancake house for breakfast. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be a really nice day and I'm excited to take you guys along with us. What do you want, the chalk? You want some chalk? Here you are then, you want the blue one? You want to draw yeah. on the chalkboard? Here, draw on there. Wow. Oh, just yeah. spotted something out the window. What's that? <gasps> what is that? I think that might be a special letter for you. Look. <gasps> what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Turn it round, look. About that, are you? To Seth. <laughs> Six, four, eight, what are we? Six, four, eight. <laughs> it's all stitched yeah. yourself. <laughs> Seth Rogen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it says to Noah. <laughs> at Lodge 648. No, Sethaland. Um, okay. Where'd it get Seth from? <laughs> Thank you very much for your letter. I'm very glad to hear that you're having a wonderful break at Centre Park. <gasps> I'm ever so pleased to hear that you've been good this year. Well done. Oh. Uh, well done you. This is In cute. fact, I've been so impressed with you that I'll make sure you get some extra special presents at Christmas time. Do you think of your special letter from Santa? Look. Mama. Santa Claus! That's not mine. <laughs> Get it away from me. I've not been good this year. And my name is not Seth. Are we going to see Santa? <laughs> <laughs>
in there. Wow. We're in the pancake house. Oh, my pancakes are wobbling. I have gone for strawberries and cream stack. Noah's got a bangers and bean pancake. And Dada has got a New Yorker. Lovely. Afternoon, my loves. As you can see, we're back at the cabin. It's that time of day again. It is time for Noah's afternoon nap. He's just gone down. Um, we kind of like to try and split our day into two parts because Noah has his nap around half past 12, one o'clock. He only has one nap a day now and he, he will not sleep in the pram. He's not a pram sleeper. So we kind of have to come back for his nap, which is absolutely fine by us. It means that he is a happy boy for the afternoon. And yeah, that's basically what we've been doing. We've been coming back to the cabin around 12 o'clock um, and then getting him down for one o'clock for a couple of hours. And then we head out again this afternoon. So this morning we went to see Santa um oh my god Noah was a little bit terrified by Santa I won't lie I do think he is definitely a little bit still too young dying for him to meet Santa so I didn't want to wait until next year um but I think next year will definitely be the year where he kind of like he just understands it a little bit more um but it was still super cute and then after that we headed over to the pancake house we had some really yummy pancakes noah had a big play in their soft play area something i really love about all of the restaurants at center parks is they pretty much well all of the ones we've been in they all have a soft play area which makes life so much easier going out for food with a toddler honestly such a game changer having a little soft play area especially if you get a table near a soft play area that that's such a parent thing to say isn't it like oh i hope i get that table next to the soft play area me and jamie are just gonna have a nice little relax for a couple of hours now um and then when Noah wakes up from his nap we're gonna head back out i think to grab some dinner we'll probably head out about four our little like evening routine here is to head out about four go for a nice long walk go and get some dinner about five and then we walk down to winter wonderland have a walk around then come back and then we get noah down to bed so that is exactly what we're going to be doing this evening and you're looking for a soft play center come to the bowling alley we've been searching for one of these and noah is in his element he absolutely loves it in there happiest when in a soft play look at his skin around <laughs> oh such a good one as well because it's quite quiet and as you can see we've got the whole place to ourselves and he absolutely loves it hello my loves from editing Gemma. i have just been editing the vlog that you guys have just seen as you can tell we're now home um it's a couple of days later and i've just got to the end of the vlog and realized the last time we spoke was at the soft play center so hello <laughs> sorry to i feel like this vlog has been very quite choppy and a little bit here there and everywhere um i'm really hoping it hasn't come across to you guys like that um, and I really hope you've enjoyed it, but I feel like it was a little bit of a here, there and everywhere trip. But yeah, we had the loveliest time. It was so Christmassy. Noah really loved it this year. So yeah, I'm just getting this video ready to go up this evening, which I love. Like I love having a little catch up with you guys on the day. It's, you, you guys see this video. I just feel like it, I don't know. I always think it feels really nice um anyway my loves thank you so much for watching i really really hope you have enjoyed this vlog um next video will be this weekend and it's a really exciting video i have a little something up my sleeve for you all is a little something from me to you just to say 
thank you and I appreciate you so all will be revealed this weekend I'm very excited to share this with you guys I will catch up with you all at the weekend bye bye Merry Christmas because we are two days away from December ah. <coughs> that made me choke bye my loves